what do I do with my hands? <laughs> Just hold a couple of jugs. <laughs> well, Cam, that, the, I reckon, that five months went quick. It was like a video in January. Yeah. Where, where it was the first, remember it was the, um, uh, we were doing the fishing challenge, right? Yeah. Is that That's when we basically properly planned this trip that we're on now. I didn't realise it'd been that long. It has gone quick, man. It's yeah, gone it quick. Yeah. So, guys, welcome back to another series, another video, and another location. I've been waiting a while for this one, and I've got to be honest uh, with you, this is not a weekender. This is a 10-night trip. A 10-night trip to Shark Bay, Francis Perrin National Park, man. I've been I've been frothing this one. Yeah, I've been hanging out for this too, yeah, eh? Yeah, mate. So, we are, we, we've been on the road now for about three hours. Um, I, I don't want to overload you guys with information from the get-go. We've got a lot planned, but I want to talk to you about it as we're going, as I do it. So we've got a heap of um, good meals planned. Mm. We've got some wicked activities, as you can see. We've got the uh, tinny on the top and a couple of kayaks, uh, all cams, by the way. And we've got 10 bloody days. We've got plenty of time, so I can't wait uh, to get into all this stuff, man. I really can't. Um, but I've got to take you back from this point. I want to show you what I've been adding to the car slowly but surely in preparation for this trip, starting with uh, the mechanics at AGD Auto. So I'm going to go back in time now. Alright guys, well welcome to the preparation for our upcoming trip up to Shark Bay. Now I'm here at AGD Auto in Wangara. Now, I want to have a chat to the owner because I've just had Aaron uh, run through my whole car today, do a service and sort of, you know, fix a few little things and that. I'll get him to explain because the list is so damn long. <laughs> so let's go and speak to him and I'd love to um, get some answers off of him as to what he would check over on a trip like this, just because I think it'd be interesting to know. I'm, I'm looking to learn myself, so let's, let's get in there. Right, guys, so here I am. And this is Aaron from AGD. How are you, mate? Good, how now, are you? Yeah, good, mate. Me and Aaron have known each other for a few while, oh, a few years now. Yeah. He um, went to my brother's wedding, so um, he, he actually knows my brother before he knew me, but it's good to know someone and trust someone with your car like that, so. Aaron, mate, I, I, I don't want to keep too much of your time because I know it's bloody important. And I'll tell you what, guys, I'll show a couple of shots around this um, around this unit here because it's bloody Hollywood. I mean, there's about 200 grand, 300 grand worth of car over there. I feel like a peasant here. <laughs> um, but later on in the future, I'd love to take you guys on a run through of that Isuzu over there. Brad's holding the camera. Good to meet you, Brad, tonight, mate. Absolute gemmer of a bloke. But I'd love to... That is a Hollywood car as well. Plenty here to look at, isn't there, mate? There is. There is. <laughs> but as I wanted to ask you, mate, just because it's good to clear my head as well, what do you look for if you're going on a trip? Like Aaron knows I'm going to Shark Bay. What do you look for, man? Like what do you go? What'd you go through on the car today? Look, we um, literally start from underneath the vehicle. Yeah. So run through all your diff oils, transfer case, gearbox. Make sure they're all topped up. Um, on yours today, we found the rear diff was, yep. uh, well, had water in it. Yep. Uh, from what we found out, you've taken in water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I can't hide the evidence. No I just diff, can't, mate. No diff breathers <laughs> yet. Yeah, um, exactly. And this is this is good to speak to you about that because yep. I want to build up a list of what I need for preventative, you know what I mean? Pre preventative maintenance, I guess. It yeah, is, definitely, you know? definitely. So, so um, yeah, doing a diff breather kit. Uh, saves that water going in, gets set, set up in your engine bay on a uh, bracket and that's where um, the diff gearbox and transfer case can breathe. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, but yeah, we started from there, went through them, replaced the diff oil, uh, checked all your rear leaf springs, shackle bushes. Yep. You got greasable shackle bushes in the back, so yep. we could grease them. Beautiful. Uh, grease the rear tail shaft, the front shaft, uh, steering knuckles, and then we just go through and inspect all the suspension. Yep. Uh, inspect your tyres. Yeah, don't look pressures. too bloody close. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it's pretty simple. Like right before a major trip is the main thing is to check your tyre pressures yep. um, before driving nine hours up to Shark Bay. Yeah, of course. Uh, check your oil, check your coolant, yep. brake fluid. Uh, they're pretty basic. The other things we found in yours were 
yeah, fuel filter due, yep. which we sent your photo of. Yeah, yeah. You can pop that up later. <laughs> that is um, just black charcoal. Air filter as well. <laughs> yeah, we find yep. most of the time that uh, people that take off up north, by the time you get back, your air filter is stuck. Yeah, yeah. Put yeah, out the bench gotcha. and tap it. It's either full of sand, full of dust. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, most guys, it's yeah, it's harder to explain to them and say, look, they don't last 40,000 like it says in the logbook. Yeah, you gotcha. off road, so you need to uh, replace harbor. it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, definitely harbour it or even, yeah, go go again. Yeah. Um, just depending on what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, awesome. No, well, that's good. It's good to find that out, guys. But there were also a couple of little... Uh, skeletons weren't there and I'm glad you checked yeah. it out and you found them dude because yep. the worst one that live wire yeah you, you see that live wire that? hanging off the battery that's come out of the uh, come out of a relay literally <laughs> hanging there so that would have been me because so I've um, put that battery in just to remove the fuse um, yeah, sit it back and let the auto let you sort that out <laughs> uh, the other one was because we did front wheel bearings on the car yeah yeah sorry yeah we did just popping off the um, the locking hubs, uh, the gaskets are actually missing. So oh, this shit. side okay. had some water in the front bearing. Yeah. Um, we replace hub seals, uh, locking hub seals as well. Yeah. All genuine. Uh, repack the wheel bearings. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, check all your, your spindle, your stub axle and your bearings when we do that. Beautiful, mate. Yeah, so it's definitely something you've got to do every 20,000 on these. Yeah, cruises. gotcha. Shit, because I, I, yeah, I've got to admit, I, I'm learning a lot, guys, just because it, it's really good to know what he's going to look through, and also it's it's quite harrowing as well to find all the shit that's happened to your car without you knowing, because, you know, you check the indicator lights, they were just... Yeah, no indicators, <laughs> no park lights, no headlights, um, so yeah, it's just small things that yeah. people don't usually check. No, it, and I don't, man, I've got to be honest, yeah. I absolutely don't, I just bring it to someone like you... And that's why it's beautiful, guys, to have, you know, the devil you know, isn't it? You know, you're going to yeah. trust someone with your bloody car, you know, because you don't want to be out there in the middle of nowhere with your car because at the end of the day, it's going to cost you double of that preventative maintenance to get it back here, dude, you Correct. know? Yeah, so yeah, it's got to go on a tour trailer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thousands, but most of our customers do take off touring off-road, yeah. um, take off for two weeks at a time. So there's extra stuff that we check that yeah, you normally beautiful. don't get when uh, you just drop it in somewhere to do a service. Yeah. Uh, so it's yeah, more preventative. We'll sit there and look and think what's going to fail out in the bush. Oh, man. Uh, instead of it failing out in the bush and, yep. uh, yeah, trying to get it back here. Mm, exactly. I mean, shit, I've always worried about that on my solo trips especially is being stuck like that because – I'll be honest, I know the basics, man, like how to, you know, check oil, you know, check all that. But when you when you come through something like this, it's something major. You're stuffed. I'm yeah. stuffed. For a bloke like me, only a brickie. I, 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 maybe I could fix it with a hammer and bolster. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's away, it? yeah. Hey, guys, well, actually, while I've got you, you, you probably recognise this bloody cruiser behind me. I actually met you, uh, Trav today from PDP. Mate, great to meet you, Trav. Really nice bloody bloke. And... It really makes the old workshop look even nicer, doesn't it, mate? It does. You know? Yeah. I've never seen such a clean workshop. I've got to be honest with my man. I've got to be honest. Beautiful. So that's good. I know I'm in good hands, guys. Um, yeah, so pretty much I just wanted to do a little video just to start off this um, this prep series about the, um, the Shark Bay series. And I'll be doing a lot more with Aaron in the future. So I'd love to learn more. And maybe you guys will pick up some tricks along the way, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so... Dude, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for helping me out. And and Brad, dude, we're going to get to your walk uh, walkthrough one day. On a tinny trip. These boys both got tinnies. <laughs> All right, back to the main, uh, the main video, guys. See you soon. So another thing that I'd been trying to hold off as long as I could, um, especially because I really wanted another set of um, KO2s, the uh, BF goodies, but there was just, I don't know if it's the times that we're in now, I just could not get hold of BF Goodriches. So I went with the next best thing, I think. <laughs> uh, I went with the Nitto, the Ridge Grapplers. So this is like an all-terrain, uh, hybrid I think but they look quite aggressive they look like more like a bloody mud terrain to me but I was able to get a really 
really good price actually um i don't know if you've seen on the channel before mike um my brother-in-law blake him and his father used to own a tire joint so through his uh connections i was able to get in touch with jason and ron from um tire power and in bayswater no no affiliation whatsoever but i need to give credit where credit is due the service from those guys is brilliant um there's a few little things on this car as i show you where I've, I don't know what it is lately, I've just been getting a good run of good service and I need to give these people a shout out for no other reason than they're bloody awesome at what they do and, and they're good people. You know, it's hard to find good service these days, but I want to see, I'm really interested to see how these will go. I want to see how they bag out and I want to see how they go, especially because it's real aggressive on the sides as well. So I was a little bit spewing that I couldn't get BF Goodrich's, but it gives me a chance to try out some new tyres. Um, a quick little review on the BF Goodriches. They lasted me so freaking long. I'll put it on the screen now, how many kilometres they lasted me. And I was so stoked with them. I've had them on all my cars, basically. So let's see how these go. And then I want to move on to the next one. The next little mod, which I think is going to be perfect, especially for this trip. Another answer coming to light. Another thing I haven't mentioned um, that I've gotten before this trip that I'm hoping to use a lot on this trip, but I haven't used it a lot yet. I actually got this a while ago, but I wanted to give, um, this is a 30 second awning. I got the 270 um, freestanding awning. I'm, I'm stoked to finally uh, move up to the freestanding level. <laughs> I wanted to give a real shout out to Daryl from Camping Culture in Wangara. There is no, I, I paid full price for this. I don't, I don't even need to explain that to you guys, but Daryl, mate, I can't thank you enough. You're a freaking absolute legend. Um, helped me out so much. Just went way above and beyond. Helped me out with brackets and stuff like that. Small little family business. I had a really good chat to him. I actually stayed there for like an hour having a chat to him about, you know, how, how COVID's affected him and that. But guys, this is probably one, or you know, this is one thing I'd, I'd urge you if you ever want help with anything camping, go to Camping Culture. Um, Daryl, absolute champion of a bloke. Nothing, no affiliation whatsoever, but I really, really like to support top bloody blokes like him and top, you know, family owned, family operated. Let's get back to the video. that I've driven past this so many times. I've just always bombed through at Overlander and, and continued straight up to Exmouth usually, or, you know, Coral Bay or whatever. But the first thing, because I've never been to this region here before, is that beautiful red dirt. It feels like I'm in the middle of the bloody desert, um, but it's it's actually not too bad at the moment. Cam reckons it gets a bit more corrugated up here, but I've got my tires down to sort of 15, 16. There's a natural, um, dedicated spot where you're meant to let your tyres down. What a beautiful time of the day that we've arrived as well. Water's flat. My God. Got freaking 10 more days of this. <laughs> Absolutely stoked. I think it might be time to crack a beer in a minute because I think Cam and I should celebrate getting here. It's been a bit, it's been an awesome day. Well guys, so we got here. Um, as you can see, I'm using the old Jet Set uh, 5 again from Zempire. I've had this thing for ages now and I've used it a freaking ton. Um, and I thought it'd be really comfortable this time, especially since we're staying here long term. I've got a the, um, the king size, oh, sorry, the queen size double high blow up mattress. And I've got a Sperry just in case it sort of leaks or pops or something like that. So 
Fingers crossed it doesn't. Let's get this camp set up. And I think we'll feel, what a spot, man. It's beautiful. What a eh? freaking spot. I can't wait to show you guys in the morning. We're gonna get camp set up. There's heaps to set up for bloody 10 days. <laughs> Yeah, do you mind when this tape shape just helping it up? You, you see what I mean? Looks like a praying man just help it up. Yeah. That's it, you pull that towards you. And then this one here. There you go. Cheers, Cam. Jeez, she's a ripper, eh? Oh, I love this thing, man. So I'll get this all properly set up. Yeah, I was just going to gauge the... Yeah, the length, thing. yeah, because we can still move it before it's even pegged. Okay. So once we all set it up properly, I'd love to show you guys through the actual proper camp when it's all set up. But tonight, because it's getting quite late, we wanted to get the whole camp set up. Nice, simple dinner tonight, so I think I won't even show that. But we've got a lot planned for tomorrow. Next time you'll see me is in the bloody morning. I'd love to show you this spot properly, get the old drone up, show you absolutely beautiful i'm so excited for this trip guys i'll see you in the morning Well, good morning, guys. This is the first morning that we've woken up in Shark Bay. I'm, I'm, yeah, don't know, lost for words. I'm looking in the distance here, and you can see this beautiful red cliff running into the white sand into the ocean. By the looks of the weather, it looks like we've got a small little window of the whole of today where it's blowing an easterly, you know, at sort of six, seven knots. So, um, not even that, actually. It's just beautiful and calm here. You sort of can't even see the difference between the water and the sky. Um, I'm just so excited. I, I was thinking to myself, usually on weekend trips and weekenders that I do with, you know, the, the lads and the, the legend crew there, it's usually you're sort of trying to get everything done and, you, you know, you're trying to relax as much as you can and fit as much as you can into a weekend. I, I, I haven't had this feeling in a while, you know, where it's sort of, you've got... <laughs> 10 days and you, you, you're just going to take your time and I'm already relaxing and the shoulders are dropping and I feel really good. I must admit, I feel really good. Slept like a champion. So the plan is for today, we're actually going to use the boat today. We're going to go out, have a look around, try and, I don't know, mark some spots, have a bit of a flick and stuff like that, see how we go. And then we've got a plan that if, you know, if things start to blow up like the wind and that, you know, in the next coming days, we're just going to explore, have a look around the other side, have a walk, have a flick. And there's some other little missions that I'd like to do. I'd like to do a night fish, and I'd also like to go down uh, south of where we are now, because I've been told by a mate of mine, Brad, um, that you can possibly find some oysters. It's a bloody good feeling to have so much time, so I don't know what to do with myself, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna go back, get some bloody um, brekkie on, see how Cam um, slept and stuff. But either way, I want to bring you guys with me. I, I wanted to share this with you guys. I wanted to I'll make sure this bloody episode, you immerse yourself. Immerse yourself. Feel, you know, pretend you're sitting right here with me. Living in a bit of bloody comfort now, <laughs> compared to our usual trips. Um, so, about to get some brekkie on. Got the Ziggy running. Now, I wanted to um, show you guys, and I'll show you once we're um, into them. Cam's cooked uh, brekkies for most mornings. Uh, what he's done, he's pre-made these, uh, they're like omelette taco boats. So it's like a um, taco shell, the one like the old El Paso ones that you buy. And then it's got bacon, cheese, mushroom, spinach, egg. Um, mm, I don't know if there's onion in it, but no onion? Sweet. Um, I can't wait to try these because they look good. And I'll tell you what, a few people who have made it on his Instagram have 
bloody raved about it, so. Sleeping situation is absolutely spot on, I've got to be honest. Um, the technology of the inflatable mattresses now is pretty crazy. I must admit, it did go down a little bit, but the tiniest bit, it actually made it a bit more comfortable, I'll be honest, because I like a, um, I've always been told, being a tradie, you should have a more of a firm mattress. So I pumped her right up before I went to bed, and then she softened down, and I must admit, I, had, I got a good amount of shut-eye, so... I hope this weather plays the game today. It's meant to be really nice and calm today. So that's the window that we've got where Cam's preparing the boat now. And I reckon we take our time because it's still really bloody early. So, and that's a good thing. <laughs> we've got nothing but time. <laughs> The old priorities. Oh, yeah, finally got a tiny bit going in. Oh, like good, mate. Point four and a half. <laughs> My God. <laughs> nah. Cam, these actually look incredible. Yeah, Tiff normally wraps them in. Um, I mean, I normally wrap it in um, baking paper and yeah. then foil, and that stops all the cheese sticking in the foil. That worked out alright. That's but, still fine. Yeah, but Tiff wrapped them quickly for me. Yep. to help me so thanks Tiff, babe <laughs> where's the bacon paper <laughs> you ruined them <laughs> no nah, she's good she was helping no nah, appreciate you guys making these all right guys we're, we're going to enjoy these and then let's see how we go mate let's jump on the boat and let's get out and enjoy this beautiful part of the bloody country let's catch some fish Hey, what did I tell you? What a beautiful bloody spot. So as you can see, um, Cam's just backed the old tinny up. He's going back to plug in all his solar. And I'm on my way um, down the beach there to grab the tinny. Throw me stuff in. Um, we're thinking, because our campsite's just there, um, we're probably going to drag the tinny down here tonight and then beach it and sort of anchor it on the shore there just for easy access. Um, throughout the 10 days or eight days or whatever it might be. I'm a little bit bloody nervous. We've got all the gear. I, I, I'm, I'm keen. I don't know if I'm confident yet um, until I see what's out there. But keen. Keen, w keen and willing, that's the main thing. We'll have fun either way. Pretty crappy up here. I'll tell you what, don't come up here. It's pretty shitty. <laughs> oh, the water's nice too. It's actually quite muggy this morning, which is interesting. Wow. Yeah, fuck, that started first. A go. thousand odd kilometers. Yeah. And it starts up like that, mate. That's side, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. That's what you get it for, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're out in the water. And it's rough as guts. No, nah, it isn't. <laughs> it's beautiful. Um, how, how'd you find that launch, dude? It was all right. By yourself. It was all right. It was doable. Yep. A little yep. bit awkward, but I don't know what I'm doing either. So that's half of it, isn't oh, it? Oh, I don't know about that. You did that well. I think you did it really bloody well. You I got know. a bit of drone. I was on the drone, so that's why I came. Did it by himself. Plus, you wanted to see whether you could, eh, mate? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, got the old, uh, the old sounder on. There's fish down there, man. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah I'm excited too. So... Uh, without further ado, let's get into it, mate. Absolutely yep. awesome fun. 
We'll see you soon, guys. Hopefully we bloody have some fish. I don't know. Don't, don't be confident, but I'm half confident. We're sort of right now, I feel like, we've been out here for about two hours now. Yeah. Um, just gotten a heap of little bottom feeding, like shitty fish to be honest. Um, just caught, what did we catch? That was size, wasn't it? That little Charlie caught. Um, so you can put Pete on the board, but it's not what I, I want, like something a bit decent, like a, a lot bigger. That was only just size, only like nuts. literally millimetres, but. Um, you had to stomp on it first. Yeah, <laughs> I had to tenderise it, flatten around a bit. Just have a look at the colour over there. I, I've never seen anything like that before, except for uh, around Horrex, but this is like the real thing here. Amazing how fast this body of water here must be moving really quickly, because we're sort of literally um, drifting at about two to three knots, eh, Cam? Yeah. So yeah, let's see how we go. Beautiful day though, Jesus. It's turned out to be lovely. And it's flat as, I mean, um, should have seen there was like a minute. Did you, did you notice that before where it just went dead still? Went yeah. from like, you know, five knots to nothing. But it should be like this most of the day, guys. So just having a ball out here. But one thing I'm glad we did, Cam, mm. brought a crap load of water out, mate. Yeah. Every time you have a um, mouthful of water, you can feel your body going more. <laughs> Bit like beer, you yes. know. I think I've got him out. Oh, bigger Charlie. Oh, nice. That's all right. Bring him in, bring oh, no, him in. That's different than Charlie. It's so nice. Well done, mate. Got a Rooney. Oi, that was that set, dude. Yeah, smashed him. Gobbled it. Alright guys, we are back from the morning mission. It's time for a little bit of a lunch. Um, well, we're going to share a wrap, a fish wrap. No, <laughs> no, we'll have a fish wrap each. Um, we didn't do so well, I'll be honest. We caught a heap of those little shitty ones. Do you think we're missing anything? I mean, we don't know the waters. We have to go and have a look around. Yeah. I found over there, how fast were we drifting? Yeah, we were. It's insane. Yeah. Insane. Um, but I found the, the jigging helped a lot. On the soft plastic. Yeah, they yeah. were good. They were good. So, um, yeah, we're both a little bit buggered right now. Mm. So let, let's get a um, bit of water into us, <coughs> a few beers. Probably. Yeah, and uh, re relax before this afternoon, Camo. Eh? Sounds good. Look forward to it. That weather's um, still staying real nice at the moment. Cam's getting some bloody amperage into the old batteries there. You're back to full nearly. Nah, nah, 50%. Oh, 50%, were you? Yeah. Cool. Got a nice big blue patch. Another hour and a half or something, and it would fill, would it? You reckon? Nah. I'll, oh, really? I'll need another good six hours. Oh, right. Yeah. Gotcha. But three hours if it's running, I guess. If, if I'm driving, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Oh well, it's good to know. And then I'm just sitting uh, with my one battery, and that's it. My one AGM. Have you got a panel out? Yeah, at the front. Yeah. Cool. So I'm good there. Tell you what, I reckon I've deserved this. Um, it's gonna stop the trauma cam of that big freaking, <laughs> that big old shark. Calm your nerves. Cheers guys, cheers shelter. A nice lager to wash down the day, wash down the salt. I'm back at camp now, Cam's cooking up the old Philado fishes. I will get a little bit of footage of that to show you guys um, because I can't wait and I'm starving dude. I'm yeah, absolutely too. starving and I'll throw a bit of the footage of the um, of the filleting in. If I don't see you uh, for the rest of tonight, I'm gonna leave this episode at that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Like, subscribe, you know, uh, comment guys. L let me know what you're thinking of this series so far. Consider becoming a Patreon. Heaps of extra videos, heaps of extra content on there. Uh, Personalised uh, Facebook group, a little uh, a private group that we all discuss things on. Let me know what you think of this episode. 
I am loving it and it's only the first freaking day. See you guys soon. Cheers all.